Hello friends, in this video we will be making a very common dyeing agent, indigo. Indigo is a dye which have been used since a long time in history. It has a deep blue color and it was first extracted naturally from the plant Indigo Ferra Tinctorium. In this video we will be chemically synthesizing indigo using the bayer drusen indigo synthesis method which is actually an aldol condensation of two molecules of two nitrobenzaldehyde. The chemicals that you need for this preparation are 1 gram of 2 nitrobenzaldehyde, 10 ml of acetone and 4 ml of 1 molar sodium hydroxide solution. And for the demonstration of the procedure of VAT dyeing, you will need 1 gram of sodium hydroxide flake and 1 gram of sodium dithionide. You will also need organic solvents like ethanol and diethyl ether. Here I have taken 1 gram of 2 nitrobenzaldehyde. It was purchased online from chemical supplier. It has this characteristic yellow color to it. It's practically insoluble in water, so to make it dissolve, I add 10 ml of acetone. It's highly soluble in acetone and you can see most of it has dissolved immediately upon addition of acetone. Stir it well and you will get a clear yellow colored solution. Then add 5 ml of distilled water. If it seems like the solution is getting turbid, just add few milliliters more of acetone to re-dissolve the 2 nitrobenzaldehyde. Now to the solution was added 4 ml of 1 molar sodium hydroxide solution. Observe the color change immediately upon addition of sodium hydroxide. That is the indigo being formed. Keep stirring for a few minutes and you will see an effervescence. The overall reaction is an aldol condensation of two molecules of 2 nitrobenzaldehyde with acetone in the presence of base. After that, we boil the solution along with stirring for about 5 minutes to ensure complete reaction. Then filter the solution and collect the precipitated indigo. I used simple gravity filtration because this video was recorded before I bought the vacuum filtration setup. Wash the beaker couple of times with cold distilled water to wash out all the precipitated indigo. After that, we wash the indigo dye a couple of times with ethanol and then with diethyl ether. The ethanol washing would help remove all the unreacted sodium hydroxide and acetone. Care should be taken after adding the diethyl ether. That is because diethyl ether is very volatile and as soon as you add the diethyl ether, we will just place a watch glass or a petri dish above the funnel to prevent the vapors from escaping so that filtration would take place smoothly. This is the dried indigo that we obtained. I got 5 grams which represents about 60 percentage yield. Now we perform something called vat dyeing. Vat dyeing is the term literally referring to dyeing in a vat or tub and this is the historical method used for dyeing fabric using indigo. The principle behind vat dyeing is that water insoluble indigo is reduced to form the water soluble leuco form at a particular pH and it gets absorbed to the threads of the fabric. Then later it gets reoxidized in air to form the previous form and thereby providing a permanent color. For this demonstration we need 0.2 grams of indigo which we prepared just now, 1 gram of the sodium hydroxide and 1 gram of sodium dithionite and sodium dithionite is our reducing agent. 1 gram of sodium hydroxide solution was dissolved in 40 ml of distilled water to make a solution of it. Then we add 0.2 grams of the indigo which we just measured and it was added on top. Indigo will remain suspended as it is insoluble in water. Stirring was continued and then we add 1 gram of the sodium dithionite which we just measured. Sodium dithionite is the reducing agent and this will convert the insoluble indigo to the leuco form and thereby changing the color of the solution. After heating for a few minutes you can see the solution has turned clear and a yellow color is obtained and this is the leuco form. Now for the dyeing purpose a piece of fabric is dipped into the leuco dye. I used a spatula to completely immerse the fabric into the dye solution. After soaking for a minute in the dye solution, it was quickly taken out and spread on a piece of paper. 
Initially, you can notice the yellow color of the leuco indigo. It slowly starts getting reoxidized in air, forming indigo, which has the blue color. This color can get easily removed by washing. To prevent the color from leaving fabric easily, the procedure of wet dyeing is repeated couple of times and each time when the dye gets absorbed into the fabric, it will become more and more difficult to remove the dye. Here is a piece of fabric which I dyed few days back and in the inset video you can see how fast the color is changing to dark blue color. So that's all in this video. Hope you have all enjoyed my video. And these are my Patreon supporters who are financially supporting me so that I am able to do more videos and better videos. You can also support me via Patreon or even PayPal. The links of both of them are in the description. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button for notifications. I will see you in the next video.